this type of large outbreak is quite unusual um, and I think that is why people are a little bit more concerned than they would normally be. Normally you would have these one or two cases, um, whereas what we are seeing now is human to human transmission. The way it does spread is through close physical contact. People who have monkeypox do develop a rash, and that rash, um, if, it's con if you touch it, uh, that can be con contagious. So it is person-to-person -person close contact spread. You described earlier some of the typical early symptoms, which tend to be fever, headache, lethargy, backache. Then a rash begins, and the rash is very, uh, has traditionally in the past been very classical for monkeypox, which is it starts with what we call macules. These are just red areas. Then it progresses to papules, and papules is something you can feel. It's raised. Then it progresses to vesicles, for which the regular term would be blisters. In terms of the body itself, the classic progression is face, and then to limbs, palms of the hands, soles of the feet, and, and then to the body itself. It was observed and studies were done that the smallpox vaccines used at that time were protective against monkeypox about 85% of the time. However, uh, because these are relatively newly discovered products, uh, they are not yet widely available. They are available to some ministries of health in national stockpiles, but they're not yet widely available commercially. So another area of work that we'll be engaging in will be to uh, work with the partners and the commercial um, and sector and industry to see what we can do now to enhance availability of these products. So far, the consequences don't seem to be uh, very serious, but we, it's, it's important that we keep an eye on it, and uh, that's exactly what the, uh, the new UK uh, Health Security Agency is doing.